In this video, I'm going to show you a more efficient way to get the most recent record in a list, which is an improvement to a solution that I covered in a previous video. I'm going to show you how the previous solution worked and how the new one works much better using the Power Query formula table.buffer. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So I posted a video not so long ago covering how you can get the latest record from an employee list in Power BI. It basically uses subgrouping to determine the latest record in the list. Since then, I've found an even easier and more efficient way to do this in Power BI using the table.buffer formula. First, let me show you how I did it the old way from the previous video to compare, and then I will show you how you can use the new method. So if you wanna to skip to that part, I will leave a timestamp on it in the description box below. Here's a report with a table of employee data. It has information like employee name, their position, and when that data was captured in time. From this list, you might want to get just the latest employee record, and you can't simply filter this by active date because latest records can fall in different dates like here, for example, and we've solved this already in a previous video. So first we opened up Power Query like this, then we sorted the active date by descending. And then we grouped the data by employee ID. So we're saying employee ID here as the grouping and on the operation, instead of doing any of these, we'll just select all rows that will create a column with the table of all our data. But what you'll notice is for each of those records, you will have the most recent record at the very top because we sorted it first. And then from here, we went add a column, custom column like this, table that add index column. And then we just simply used that one. Hit OK. I missed something, so we need to add the name of that new column, rank. So you will see it generates another column with all the tables, like ranking the active date data from zero to how many records there are. And then from here, we simply expand and we'll take simply everything, filter this by zero, that just makes sure that we get all the most re recent record for each of the employees. We remove everything else. And there you go. So we have the most recent record for all of the employees in our table. So you'll see that with that method, it works quite easily, but just requires a lot of steps. I've actually tried to make this work before and ended up not using this method for my records that contained more than 10,000 records just because it was taking too long to load the data. So now let me show you how the new method works, which will only need two steps. So let's go back to the very beginning. Let's delete everything else apart from the sort rows. So all we did from here is just sort it by active dates descending. And then from here, we're going to simply right click and remove duplicates. Remove duplicates is a step or a function that gets the first record of data from a list that you give it, which is why we're sorting the active date to descending first. But in this case, you can see it's not working properly yet. But why is that? Well, because when we did the sorts, it's classified in Power Query as a step that isn't really necessary to evaluate in Power Query. So though if you go to this step, it might look like it's sorting the data in descending order, but it really hasn't. It just shows you a preview of it. In order to force Power Query to evaluate these sorts in Power Query in the step itself, you need to wrap the sort rows step with a table dot buffer. 
if we wrap it there. So this should force Power Query to evaluate our sort in this step before we do the remove duplicates, which if you go to the remove duplicates now, will give you all the most recent records of all our employees in our table with simply just two steps. And that's really it for this short video. I hope you now know how easy it is to get the most recent record in a list using the table.buffer Power Query formula. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.